Sure. One thing I did want to ask you about, because I know this is a big part of your your philosophy with the Pirates. Um, learning to coach players and deal with them is, you know, obviously a difficult task. I find, and as I'm learning now, like trying to bring in more coaches, training and and you know, trusting coaches to train players becomes a whole nother deal. Um, and I know you talk a lot about that and your guys' development of coaches in your organization. Talk a little bit about coaching coaches, which I think is a really underrated uh, task. Yeah, so we have a, um, we, in the last couple of years, we've created basically courses for our coaches to go through. Like as you come into the organization, there are standards that we expect you to meet. You have to have, you have, to have high emotional intelligence to coach. Um, you have a giver attitude because it's not about you. And you have to have a growth mindset. You have to you have to constantly pursue improvement of yourself. And and you also have to be willing to challenge your own biases, especially if you're coming into this organization, because we like to do a lot of arguing. Um, and we really make sure that we challenge each other on our, our biases and assumptions. Uh, and that's in, in a healthy way, because we have trust because we're a trusting group. I can you know, I, I have people that that I work with that will tell me all the time that I'm dumb or I'm wrong. But I know that they don't mean it in, in such a negative way. They're, they're, we're trying to challenge each other because what we care about is getting the player better at the end of the day. We don't care about, we don't care about who's right. We care about getting it right. So those are the three kind of pillars that you've got to, you've got to, that's the, that's the threshold that you have to cross to, to get into the organization. And then once you're in, I mean, it's relatively simple in baseball. You know, if you, if you can, you can break this down into categories of like, what does a coach need to know? Well, a coach needs to know how to help somebody acquire skill, right? So you have to be, you have to grow well-versed in skill acquisition for a player. Um, a coach needs to know enough about mental performance to know when something's going wrong. So we have like a mental performance arm. Um, a coach needs to know how to apply insight from information. There's so much information out there now. How do you make sense of that? How do you reduce it and give it into a small enough nugget to a player so that he's not just drowned by track man pitch data as he's trying to throw a fastball. Um, and then a uh, coach needs to know baseball tactics. Like you need to know tactical baseball one oh one. Like you need to know how to line the cut up, where, how we're going to do, like how we're going to do cuts and relays, what the bump plays are going to look like. Uh, what are the expectations of play on the field? The coach needs to know that. And then we also have a leadership course that uh, we have some we have some people that were that were um, officers and officers in the military that are coaches with us, and they run a really awesome leadership course for our guys. And so if you think about those things, so I'll I'll I'll, I'll go back and go slow again. So uh, starting at tactical baseball, you got to know the game, right? So if you if you want to coach baseball. Um, you know, like there's a lot of resources on the internet. You can, you can, I mean, one of the great ones is you just follow Jerry Weinstein on social media, right? He's, he's talking about, he's talking about catching and baseball and, and stuff all the time. Um, and, and there's, that's, that's probably the easiest one, uh, to go out and learn. Um, when we talk about holistic coaching, um, or mental performance, um, you know, like there are mental skills out there. There's only six to eight of them, uh, depending on, on who you talk to. And those are also things that you can go learn about. And like, you know, it, does your player have a routine before and during a, and after every single event? So before, am I preparing in some way for this game, this season, this pitch, this inning? During, am I able to regulate and control my emotions? And then afterwards, am I able to learn from the thing that just happened and let it go so that I can move on to the next event that's going to happen? That's as simple as I can put mental skills. Um, applying insight from information again. Rapsodo, TrackMan, Driveline, all of these companies out there offer these courses that you can go take and uh, learn enough about it probably to be dangerous. You know, uh, we just don't ask. Uh, we, and we, we obviously we said we do it in-house, but uh, anybody out there can go learn these things. And what you should be thinking about these things as is not like, oh, I just learned all this stuff from from Kyle Bodie's Driveline course. I'm going to go put uh, my team of eight year olds on um, on a weighted ball program. No, <laughs> that should just frame some context for you so that you can know what's BS and what's not what's and what's not BS, what's not BS. You can learn about uh, pitch shapes on TrackMan or uh, you can learn about spin on Rapsodo. You can learn about the different biomechanics stuff and how that affects players. Um, and so I think that's an important that's an important pillar to learn. Uh, and then so let's see tactics, um, mental performance. Uh, holistic coaching, applying inside information, and then leadership, and then leadership. Um, so, like, because at the end of the day, like we said earlier, like you are the adult if you're the coach in the room. 
you're the adult in the dugout. And so you have to you have to set an example in your behavior because people are following your actions, not your words. You know, you said that earlier. They're going to follow your actions, not your words. So are you doing something to um, kind of upgrade your ability to lead a group? Um, we happen to really like uh, our organization. We happen to really like um, it's funny because, again, it's a military thing. But uh, Jocko Willink, who I know some people might think is cringe because he's getting up. You don't need to get up at 430 in the morning and swing kettlebells. <laughs> okay? Like that's not that's not what we're talking about. Um <laughs> But they've really simplified into like a 12 chapter system of the things that you should know about as a leader. And one of the things that we talked about earlier is detachment. Like as a coach or as a leader, can you detach from your emotions long enough to see what's actually happening and like to be more fully invested in your team? You know, can you simplify the mission enough so that everybody knows what they need to do and why they need to do it? Um, Are you able to do those things? Can you connect them to a broader vision of an organization or of a team? Um, yeah, and we want to teach all, all of our coaches these skills so that they can go on and take on leadership positions in other places or hopefully coach in the big leagues. And we put in the last three years, we've had three coaches from our player development system graduate into major league coaches for us, um, which has been awesome. You know, like we're trying to get coaches to the big leagues as well. Uh, but again, just like with player development, it's got to be systematic. There has to be a goal and you have to build an infrastructure and a system to go do it. So if you're not in an organization that um, is providing you with a bunch of different kind of like learning opportunities like that, then I think for coaches, um, you know, it's on you to go out and, and seek out those resources and, and, and upgrade what you know. But before you go and apply it, you know, it takes some restraint to think about it again before you're like, hey, I need, I need, I need 21 inches of horizontal on the slider to a 14 year old. Like, we're good. We don't need to, we don't, we don't, we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. We don't need this. This game is, this, this game is not just about dots on a plot. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's people out on a diamond. 